and welcome to the DJ Awards. Thank you very much, I'm excited to be here. How do you feel uh, being nominated in two categories this year? Ah, it's amazing, of course. I'm really happy I can be here for the first time because uh, all of the last years they told me you were nominated but I was already booked somewhere else. And now I planned my holiday here, so today I was reading a book, relaxing with my family, and now I'm here for the first time in the DJ Awards, so I'm really happy. Good, you're spending some time in Ibiza without playing, no? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you've had a really special this year this year. It's been a big change. You've come from amnesia over to space. You've been a bee. Um, it's, it's been a phenomenal there, yes. you know? Tell us about your season. Well, it's been kind of strange uh, because I was a little bit uh, scared if my fans, after seven great years in amnesia, would follow me to space. Uh, I wanted something different and I wanted, you know, some new production elements and, you know, my LED wall. I want to bring my video people from the Netherlands. I really want to invest in my show. Uh, so I was a little bit afraid. And also, this summer I became a father for the very first time. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> so I had to skip three weeks because I wanted to be with my wife, you know. And a few hours sleep. Yeah, and a few hours sleep. So this was very difficult because I didn't know what to expect. And, uh, but I was very happy and in September we had really record-breaking numbers. We had something like 5,000 people, the closing party for B. Which shows that uh, you know the Ibiza people really like what I do and this is a great compliment from me. I think it's safe to say that they followed you. I hope so, <laughs> I hope so. Tell us a little bit more about the show that you, that you did at Space because I mean, taking a show like that, what you travel with around the world and then putting it up there in, in the main room at Space, I mean... Well, it's really hard to explain, but if you really want the facts, we bring a really big LED wall, we bring extra production, you know, we, we bring my own sound guy, I bring my own light guy, I bring my own VJ, but I still look at the crowd, I don't have a prepared show. It's not like, oh, you know, I'm gonna play this track and that, that track. I look at the people, like if there's a really big track that day that somebody gives me, I can play it that night and I still have the visuals live, you know? And this is for me, this is very important because DJing is about interaction with the crowd. And then also you were doing things like recording your State of Trance radio show live from space. How was that received by your listeners? I actually recorded my new album there live. As well. I was getting to that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about that. Let's talk about the new album. No, no, the, uh, the Universal Religion is a concept that I started uh, in 2003, I think. And it started mixing it live in one take in front of a live audience. So no technical tricks, just me, the records. And the album is coming out in three days on iTunes, check it out. Uh, <laughs> it has a lot of new tracks, so this is really hectic for me because I had to finish two remixes, one new Gaia track, and one track with Ferry Corsten uh, that's going to be on the album, and it was mixed live in space. How do you feel mixing live? It's kind of a big responsibility, yeah. no? Launching an album is one of <laughs> Yeah, I said on my Twitter, if, if I like this mix, I will release it. So everybody's like, no, no, you have to release it. I was like, no. I'm not sure. So the mix is for me is perfect, but you can hear I'm mixing. You know, sometimes I have to make a little adjustment to the to the record. You know, because it's live. It's no computers. But I think the people will love that, no? I hope so. I hope so. They love a bit overall. I mean, I think it's it's like you know doing your radio show live as well. It kind of makes them feel like they're a little bit more there with you. Yeah, exactly. Well, this is important because if you listen to my CD, Universal Religion, you are in space. You know, you're standing on a dance floor, and like, well, for example, if you're sitting behind your desk and you're working and you listen to this CD, we transport you to Ibiza, you know, and you're standing with your friends. It's great, I think. And it's no, no image, not necessary. It's only the music and you hear the people screaming and you feel the music, you know, this is what it's about. There's something very special about the artwork with the album as well, yeah? Yeah, you know. <laughs> I do my research. <laughs> yeah, well, I moved to space, so... The, the theme of universal religion is a little bit old. But I thought I needed to revamp the whole idea. I still have like the ancient feeling, but with modern things. And the, the funny thing is, I moved to space, but I'm also actually going into space with the SXC space shuttle. In oh, 2000, really? Yeah. 2014, I'm actually going up in space. So so I thought, what, what, what would be cool to have a space astronaut uh, <laughs> A space astronaut with a sword on the cover. 
and I found this artist called Joseph Glibonski. He's a really talented, really, really extremely talented guy. Check, check him out, Joseph Glibonski. I don't own shares in his company, nothing. It's just really talented guy. He makes modern art, you know? Sometimes you think art is for old people or whatever, or for freaks, but this is really cool. I was like, wow, I really like this, you know? So I asked him and he said, yes, I want to do the cover. So he's done the cover and it's really unique because of course his CD is like this, but the, the actual work is like Nervous, as big no? as this. So it's really great, yeah. I love the fact that you just love collaborating with so many different people all of the time, whether it's your album, whether it's tracks, whether it's with a singer, an artist. It's, it's scary sometimes because, you know, you, you, you try different things with different people and sometimes people say, uh, I don't like. But I'm an artist, so I have to take responsibility and I have to try different things, you know? Sometimes I, I work with Ferry Corson on a track and some people say, oh, it's great. Some people say, I'm not sure. So, but it's great to, to, to be creative and to work with so many great people. I have such a great team of people around me, so. I can imagine after having Arnim Mabur in a new album, radio show, party every week and being a father, father. all at the same time. Wow. <laughs> it's a lot of work, but you know what? I'm the happiest guy on earth because this is the best job in the world. Oh, that's it. The best job in the world. There it is. Arvi Mabudan, thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you very much for inviting me. Thank you. And good luck. Thank you. <laughs>